after installing a Linux machine, you will get some default directories in the file system. These directories are defined by the FHS, the File System Hierarchy Standard. And I want to talk about some of the common directories that you will see uh, on every Linux installation. I'm not trying to be complete, I just want you to be aware of the most important directories. To start with, there is root. That's the start of your entire uh, Linux file system. It's the root directory. And within the root directory, you should not create any files. Then there is slash boot. Slash boot is used for booting your system. It contains the kernel and the init ramfs, everything that's essential to get your system up and running. Then there is bin, which is for binaries, binaries that are accessible by normal users. And there is sbin as well, which is for system binaries. These are the program files that the, the root user will use to administer the system. Now the binaries and system binaries work with libraries as well. And these libraries are in lib, as well as in lib64. So these are the additional uh, library files that are needed to uh, run the binaries in bin and in sbin. You will notice, by the way, that on Red Hat 7, this is all linked to the user directory, USR. Uh, bin, in fact, points to USR bin. SBIN points to USR SBIN and lib points to USR lib. Uh, in the past, it was important to have these directories in a separate location, but that need is no longer there. The user directory on a Red Hat system is like your program files on Windows. It contains all program files, basically. Some other important directories include slash home. Slash home is for user home directories. So if you create a user, it will get its home directory by default in the slash home directory. There is a slash proc directory. Slash proc is a very interesting directory, uh, which allows you to show information that is written by the kernel. It is basically real life information about what your operating system is doing. And the last of the important directories I want to talk about now is slash var. Slash var is a directory that is used by different services uh, to create log files, for example, in slash var slash log. Uh, or what do you think of slash var slash www? Uh, which is used by the web server as its default document route. Now, these are the most important uh, directories that you will typically find uh, on a Linux system. There are more, but they are not as important. So we will encounter some of them later while we move on through this course. So now that we have looked a bit at these default directories as defined by the file system hierarchy standard, let me show you a little bit about it on the system as well. So you can see all of these directories existing in the root right here. And if you want to do some additional reading, I can recommend man hire for hierarchy. It's from section seven and it describes what these different directories should be used for. So if ever you're wondering where you should put something, well, you might find the answer right here. 